let us discuss new problem language w c w reverse where w belongs to a comma b star so w is basically a string which we can get from all combinations of a's and b's then we have a symbol that is c and then we have reverse of w so w r indicates reverse of w so what could be the strings from this language so when this w is all combination of a's and b's so the first value of w will be null so if this is null the w reverse will also be null so the first string that will be generated in this language will be only c when the value of w is say a so w reverse will also be a so the string generated will be a c a if the value of w is b the string generated will be b c b when the value of w is a a string generated will be a a c a a when the value of w is a b string generated will be a b c and reverse of w will be b a now when the value of w is b a string generated will be b a c a b value of w is b b string generated will be b b c b b next will be 3 times a c 3 times a and so on so the first component w represent any combinations of a's and b's followed by a c and then again we have w reverse which is basically reverse of what we are getting as a part of string from our w so for representing pda for this particular example what we can think is in order to process this w reverse we should first have w on our stack so what we can do in this problem is we can push on stack w so whatever symbols we are getting from w these symbols will be pushed on stack until we encounter a c the moment we encounter a c we are going to move from one state to another state so suppose i am standing in state q0 in q0 i am going to push all the symbols from my w onto the stack that may be any combinations of a's and b's until i encounter a c in my string the moment i encounter a c in my string i am going to move from state q0 to q1 and in that q1 we are going to check whether we are getting a reverse now how we will check reverse now suppose if i am having a string called as a b c b a so first a will be pushed on stack then b will be pushed on stack the moment i get a c i'll be moving from one state to another state and in this state now i'll start doing a popping so for b now i'm going to pop equivalent b for a i'll pop an equivalent a so here the popping is for b i'm going to pop b for a i'm going to pop a wherein in case of a raised to n b raised to n for a b i was popping a a okay so in this reverse example for every b i'm going to pop a respective b from my stack for every a i'm going to pop a respective a from my stack so let us draw a diagram for this one suppose we are in state q0 initially where we are interested in performing push operation so what kind of push will be there this push will be there for our w so what will be there in the w either a and b what all combinations will come initially i may have a, a with z0 on top of stack so i'll push that a or i may also have a b with z0 on top of stack so if i'm having like this string in this particular example i'm getting a a initially with z0 on top of stack i may also have an example like this in which i am having a b as input with z0 on top of stack now i may also have this kind of a where already my top of stack is a so a with already top of stack as a i'll push that a or i may have like this top of stack as a and i'm getting a b i'm getting a b with top of stack as a so i'm going to push that b or i may have this kind of string also where i'm getting a with b at top of stack a b and finally b with b at top of stack b b so all these six transitions basically are indicating various push push operations that are required for my w so this w may have initially as a or initially as b then it may have a with earlier a it may get a b with an earlier a it may get an a with an earlier b it may get an b with earlier b all this will indicate that i am interested in pushing all those symbols from my w so all these transition are indicating me push until i get a c until i get a c the moment i get a c i am going to go from one state to another state so i am going to state q1 where i am interested in performing pop now when i am getting this c 
what could be the possibility when i'm getting a c already there might be a a on top of stack or there might be a b on top of stack so with c either a can be on top of stack or b can be on top of stack and i don't want to touch that a or b i'm not neither going to do a push nor i'm going to do a pop because further when i am getting a w reverse later for every a i am going to pop a for every b i am going to pop b but while processing of c if i am having a i am going to keep this a as it is or if i am having a b i am going to keep that b as it is or say for example i am getting a string like this where my w itself is null so directly i am getting a c so in this situation what will be there on my top of stack the initial stack symbol that will be z0 so i am getting a c with z0 on top of stack i'll be having z0 this transition will be required when i'm processing a single c so i'm coming in q1 now in q1 now i have to perform pop for every a i'm popping a a for every b i'm popping a b so for every a i'm popping a a for every b i'm popping a b so for every a i'm popping a a and for every b i'm popping a b until i am remaining with null at the end null with z0 z0 we enter into an 